Okay, this is the explanation for uh, the exercise eight on this conversation. So, how does the writer define caffeine? Okay, you need to explain the personification phrase first. Okay, so by saying that uh, caffeine will become her best friend. So that is the personification here. Okay. What did the writer do for this um, personification? The writer endows okay, endows means uh, gifts okay caffeine okay uh, and inanimate substance or object okay anyone is fine okay a uh, human Attributes, qualities, or human attribute qualities, uh, you can, uh, or characteristics, all these answers are acceptable, okay? Characteristics. Okay, so you must tell me what is the human characteristic that is uh, given to caffeine here, such as the ability, okay? To uh, be a friend, okay. So, what is a friend like? To stay by one's side, or you can say uh, as a fast companion, okay. As a trustworthy companion, also okay. So this is uh, one personification. Okay, another one. Uh, another thing that did you notice about the word caffeine? Yes, it is capitalized. Okay, so you can also say that how does the right uh, personify caffeine? So the capitalization capital of the word caffeine sorry caffeine what does it show shows that okay it seems to be the name of a person, right? Like okay, it's a proper noun. Okay, so uh, this is how you do this exercise eight on personification phrase. You need to tell me, okay, what is the personification phrase? Yeah, okay. You also need to tell me uh, that. Caffeine is an inanimate substance, okay, or an object, and is given human characteristics. What is the specific human characteristic here? Okay, the ability to stay by one side, okay, uh, to be a companion, okay. Another one can also be the fact that the word caffeine is like a person's name, and you can see it too that the word uh, caffeine has is capitalized okay so that is how you do the personification question